BoxingVoice.com live with Jack Glow. Jack, man, tell us a little bit about what happened tonight. I'm a, obviously uh, not the decision you and Willie Nelson were looking for. What went wrong? Well, again, he went back to the same old thing of uh, not jabbing, not using his height. At the very beginning of the fight, I thought it was going to be a, a rather easy night. I mean, he was using his jab. He was, you know, he was doing well. Uh, I thought we were controlling it at the beginning. Then, you know, he goes into that... Uh, Peekaboo style with his hands up, and Bonas just kept throwing bombs away. And, uh, you know, if Willie would have continued to box him, and then I, I think we could have won the fight. I mean, we had a great game plan, and, uh, you know, this kid's young. It was his first big, big fight, and uh, he got taken out of his game plan again. I spoke to him about three or four days before the fight. He told me he was ready. He said that you guys had worked on him not giving up his height. How do you think? Is it, is it because it's it's in the moment, you know, you're getting punched, you're really not thinking about what you trained for, maybe? Yeah, I mean, you know, again, he's a fighter, and, um, you know, uh, I got to get my hands off the bonus, first of all. You know, he fought a great fight. Um, he took Willie out of his game plan. Uh, our game plan was to use our left hand, and I think if Willie would have done that, I mean, every time we threw a jab, we were hitting him, but we were throwing one jab at a time. I mean, the only t the only punch Willie that Bonus was hitting is when he was coming over top with that right hand over the single jab again. You know, um, we could work on it and work on it and work on it. We could have a great camp, and if he doesn't do what we're supposed to do, and stuff like this happens, where does Willie Nelson go from here? Oh, listen, that was a great, I think this was a great experience. Vonis has a, a lot of experience. You know, he's been in two world title fights with Lara and uh, Demetrius Andrade. Um, again, I just go back to the same old thing. Willie Nelson has to, to, to stick to the game plan. He has to use his height. But, uh, I mean, it's by far not over for the kid. Now, he, he's used to getting a certain amount for his fights because he's been fighting on televised cards for a while now. Um, are you guys willing to drop back down to a Broadway boxing where he can, you know, basically polish on his skills, work on a few things and not have to worry about the type of danger that he was in today. Yeah. Well, it's not a matter of we're willing to do it. I think we're going to have to do it. You know, um, I think if this kid wants his career to go forward, he's going to have to sit back and think about it and think about listening and think about what the hell I'm in the corner for. And if he's not going to listen to, to his trainer, then you know, he's going to have a, a, a short career. Um, I, 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 I have no problem going back, fighting on Broadway, boxing, ESPN, whatever we got to do, you know, but uh, the, the kids got to stick to the game plan, bottom line. Obviously, how, how furious are you? Because, I mean, I was here for the um, Chuelo fight. You're always heard from the corner telling him, use the jab, you know, fight tall, but he, he's just not listening. I mean, how, how long do you stick around when a guy that just doesn't want to pay attention to you? Uh, that's to be determined. You know, I'm not going to give up on the kid because he doesn't listen. Um, you know, he's got to work at his craft. He's got to start listening. Uh, this is going to give us some time off, a time away from the big time. That's obvious. And, um, you know, if he's not willing to put in the time and start listening, um, we're, we're just going to have to see where this goes. Final question. I mean, you're in training camp with him. You get the most time and, and, and you know, experience with him. Is that Willie Nelson that beat uh, Udell Johnson still there? Um, if, if you ask me that right now, I don't think so, you know, but um, I mean the kid showed a ton of heart, you know um, He just got to use you use what he has and if he's not going to use that jab We're gonna run into this problem all the time because you know He is an a-level fighter and we're gonna fight guys like Vonis and we're gonna fight guys better than Vonis And if we if we plan on winning and getting ahead in this game We got to start. he's got to start listening and he's got to start using his jab. It's I mean extremely frustrating Well, Jack, thank you as always. All right, man. Thank you very much